What's up guys, it's Harry, back here with a brand new video and an exciting video today. We're talking about our titanium collection, specifically different styles of studs and hoops you can use for your helix or cartilage piercing. Let's get into it. So this video is going to be for anyone who wants to get the helix done or is thinking about getting one and is looking for some unique styles that are in high quality options to really make that helix area shine. So what we're going to cover in today's video is going to be showcasing our different pieces for your helix specifically and showing you how to use some of our pieces. We got two options, actually three options for you guys today. We're going to start with our pushback pieces. We've made an in-depth video talking about our jewelry and actually styling your ear with three different options in our previous this video that's gonna be our titanium jewelry haul video with three unique styles you can use today that view is amazing it's jam-packed with content and information to really help you give you some ideas how we can mix and match your jewelry use them together so our high making you guys go watch the video after this video is done so it's gonna be a more brief introduction of the pieces specifically for helix so for our pushback pieces these are super cool all you gotta do is really click in the pieces and click them out and that is it it's also flat in the back too so it is super comfortable it's not gonna poke you anything as well too especially for the helix piercing so let's jump right into it. My favorite piece we got going first is going to be the cluster. The cluster is a more uh, a statement piece, a more bolder piece. It is with Sarasi clusters and it's just absolutely beautiful. That really, really shines. We have our flower piece. It's also a more subtle piece. It features six stones with the middle stone with all beautiful gems as well. Nice shine. Girls love the flowers. It's definitely a great go-to piece that a lot of our clients choose. Another piece is a little bit smaller piece, a little more dainty piece, is our Trinity. Trinity comes from a three, so we have our three stones featuring in the Trinity. A great piece, a nicer, simple piece, a more classy piece, a minimalistic piece. Not as big as the flower, but a little bit smaller with just the right amount of shine. And of course, we got our two classic essential pieces, which are flat stone bezels, which is a diamond featuring flat stone or a swastika that's flat to give it a nice, simple look. Oh, we have our prong setting stone, which is like the prong that is hold the gem to really give the, the stone some shine that really reflects out some light and really gives it a nice pop and shine look. Other than that, we have our seamless or infinity hoops that kind of you bend back and forth to put them together, open and close them. Obviously, you open it this way, it'll destroy it, so just follow the guide when it pops on the screen. Or for this specific video, this is one size bigger, but it's a hinge ring. A lot of clients do have an 18 or a 16 gauge for the helix. This one's gonna pop open and close and clicks it together. Let's get right into it. Let's start off the bat with some shine, with some pop. So I love using the cluster in the top section of the helix to really fill in the gap, to really fill that area. And it is a larger piece, so it gives it that full imitation or the full look of any multiple piercings. Or you can put it down here, or you can also put it on your flat area. This piece is gorgeous. It's lightweight, Swarovski, so it definitely really, really shines. I absolutely love it. And it's probably one of my favorite pieces that we want. Actually, a lot of these are, but it's just it's super cute. It's not too bulky, and titanium is super lightweight. So I don't think these pieces are gonna be heavy. It's gonna drag your ear down. You're not even gonna feel like it's even on there. And of course, the same type of hoop, but featuring a captive ball, which is the fixed speed ring, just means like the ball is fixed on the ring, so it won't come up until you break it off. Same kind of thing, you can put a double here, put it vertically, you know, 40 legs if it's the correct size, and up here too. So this one just has the ball, if that's your, your taste, and that's your taste. This one is gonna be a little bit of a bonus. It is one size larger, it is a 16 gauge. Commonly, people have an 18 or a 16, which is the hinge ring. Remember the fixed speed rings or the seamless rings, you kind of twist them like into an S and close them. Uh, this one, you kind of pop it over and close it too. And you can see animation on the screen. This one's cool because you want that place to shine, put some bling bling on there, like a pop. If you can fill this whole area with those rings, I mean, really go to town with this guy. If you dev, I've seen sometimes vertically putting this with the, with the diamond ones. I love this. This is our gem and simple titanium. Different types of studs and hoops that you can use for helix piercing or your cartilage. Helix cartilage, same thing. If you guys enjoyed this video, you can continue watching the fun. I recommend you go watch our titanium jewelry haul. You see a lot more different options. If you have more than titanium, if you have more than helix piercing, if you have traguses or conches and dates, we really go to town and show you exactly how you can style it here. Some inspo and more in depth about our jewelry collection. You can click the watch video right over here or continue fun to watch right over here. If you like any of these jewelry, you can fight, feature them in the description section below. But we'll catch you guys in the next video by clicking right over here.